What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brittany the Brand, here with Sheen Magazine, Sheen on the Scene. And I'm here for none other than Candy and the Gang premiere on Bravo TV. Y'all, today is going to be so exciting. We've got so many wonderful guests. And uh, we'll be right back. We've got a lot to share with you. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brittany the Brand, here with Sheen Magazine. Sheen on the scene. I'm here with none other than Mr. Philip. How you doing today, love? Doing good. Good, good. Now, we've got a lot of black excellence going on around here. It's all around the show. Uh, tell me how you feel to be here today. You know what? I'm really excited about the opportunity. It's uh, something I never planned for and never thought I would be here in this point, so it's really exciting to be here. Yes. Tell me what it's like working with your crew. Now, of course, we're going to get to experience them on our level, but from an insider's perspective, what is it like being here? These people are crazy. They will literally push you over the edge, but then it's something that keeps you coming back. And I guess that's that family bond. Sometimes you form, sometimes with workers and, and family. It's a crazy dynamic, though, to be honest with you. Yeah. What do you want people to get out of the message of the show? Because no matter how much chaos there is, no matter how much fun you're having, there's always a goal and a message. What do you think this one is? I mean, I think the biggest thing is, like, just as, you know, being a black-owned business that has so many people that you relate to, at the end of the day, we're all there for each other, and we're all there for the common goal. So we may butt heads here and there, but the thing that keeps us coming back is each other, to be quite frank. So we're all here for the great purpose, and we love who we work for. And ultimately, we all end up, you know, warming up to each other and getting our job done in a good way. So Now, this is your real life, but what is your role on the show? So I am their director of operations, so I oversee all the managers, etc. They see me kind of looped in a little bit more with the staff than I like to be. But um, they only do that because they know I'm going to say what I got to say. Some of the managers are a little bit more timid than me, so we're just trying to get it, you know, get the job done, whatever it takes. But I just Absolutely. jump in. I jump in and do whatever it is. Now, are you love? I'm doing great. Thanks for Look, now you look amazing. This outfit is incredible. What's the, the inspo behind the style? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't. I really dress based on my mood for the day. So I was just feeling really daring. This is something that I would never do. But I'm like, this is my moment. I have to make a statement. Look, and a statement you made. Now, tell me what you're most excited about people seeing on the show. Um, I'm most excited about the people seeing my journey coming back into Old Lady Gang. Um, it wasn't an easy one. So I want them to see me fail. I want them to see me pick it back up. I want them to see me really conquer at the end. They'll see my journey. Black I here. How are you, beautiful? I'm good. I am Safari Fox. And you know it's Patrick. Now tell me, what involvement do you have in the show? Um, I don't work here, but we are dating. You're just going to have to tune in to see how our relationship progresses. But um, I am a business owner. Um, he actually works here. You could tell I'm Patrick. I'm Candy's cousin. I manage the parking lot here at Old Lady Gang. I'm the first person everybody see when they come through. Now, knowing that you have to have a certain kind of level of vibes to set that energy, right? Tell me how your energy contributes to the show. I have the best energy you ever seen. Just look at me. I'm that guy. I'm a people's person. 
and I always put the customers first, always. You look amazing. Thank you, thank you. I try. Look, honey, honey, don't play. All right. Look, it is gorgeous. All right. Now tell me what brings you to the premiere tonight. What brings me to the premiere is uh, my job. <laughs> I actually work at the old lady gang. And I am so excited about what's happening. It's pinch me right now. Am I woke? <laughs> look, look. Well, it's a whole kind of vibe up in here. We are so excited for tonight. Now, without giving any spoilers, what can we expect from Candy and the Gang? You're going to cry with us. You're going to laugh with us. You're going to learn a lot about us. And tune in tonight at 9, 8 Central on Bravo. Yes. <laughs> Look, he said shameless plug, all right? Now, from your role, what do you feel like we're going to see from you this first season? You're going to see me um, starting a new business. Uh, you're going to see me doing comedy, singing. I mean, I'm... Look, hey. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, you know... I mean, you got to tune in, Brittany. Now, I can't give it all. I'm under contract. Look, Brian said <laughs> 9 o'clock. <laughs> First of all, you look amazing, okay? This is something new. I normally yes. don't have my forehead out like this. <laughs> I look, normally just, like, I'm hiding. Well, thank you for trusting us with your forehead, okay? We appreciate the exposure. <laughs> so tell me about your uh, involvement in the show and how you got introduced to the idea. Um, I'm actually the first original host of Old Lady Gang. I've been here since the first day we opened. I helped sweep, wipe the walls, do everything. And I actually just know the ins and outs of the restaurant. So I was perfect. <laughs> so what is your dynamic and what is your style as a host? Um, my style as a host, um, I'm basically giving like your cousin. But I'm not really, I'm really your friend and I'm really not the host. So I'm here to help you as much as possible, you know, so... I don't know. You can't find anybody better than me. Period. I love the confidence. We are not here to play. No. Now, look, we've got all of these people here tonight for this wonderful premiere. So much black girl magic, so much black, beautiful magic in here. What are you most excited for people to see on the show? I'm most excited for everybody to see the blackness of it, the melanin and entrepreneurs and everybody's doing things outside of just working a nine to five and how we actually really get along. And it's not drama and it's not fighting and it's not stuff that they expect us to be like we are something we're really striving so I would like for everybody to tune in and check that out and how we're great look you guys are so humble right now because I know this is so new and fresh and exciting so just speaking from the perspective of the launch um, and the build around it what are you most excited for people to see I am super excited for people to see Everyone's personality, a, a part of this cast, everyone is amazing. Um, you have a lot of big personalities, and all of us put together, we just create this wonderful family that I feel like uh, deserves to show the world what we have to offer. What do you think makes this good television? I think just that. I think that we actually really have a family dynamic at the restaurant. Um, I'm so glad for the world to see that part. And, you know, we actually are there for each other in times that we need outside the restaurant as well. So, you know, we kind of look out for each other. And I think that's going to transcend through, you know, what we got going on here. Beautiful. Now tell me, what was one of your favorite experiences, without giving away any spoilers, um, as a general statement, what was one of your favorite things about being a part of this first season? <sighs> to be honest with you, everything. Everything was a moment to take in and to really, really just enjoy. Um, I literally, I feel like I enjoy every moment just the same. Like, I am up here, okay? <laughs> like, it's crazy. Uh, same for me. This is my first TV anything. Um, so all of this is very new. Um, I love Bravo, the network. Um, I think they did a very good job. They made us look very good. I love the scenes that we caught, um, that we were able to catch. Um, and, I, you know, I'm just so excited for the world to see it. What do you think makes this good television? Woo. Um, everything. The personalities, the dynamics of the restaurant, the things, the trials and the triumphs of the restaurant. You guys get to see it. Um, you know, a little romance here and there. <laughs> Um, I think that, <clears throat> say the question again, I'm sorry. What, what, what are you most excited for the world to see? Like, you know, what's your view on this show towards the world? 
I'm actually excited for the world to see, you know, the snippets of our real lives outside of the restaurant. I think that people will be more so interested in that. Um, the restaurant is one thing, and it's very fun, you know, it's very live all the time. We got a lot of customers, there's always a line down the street. But we also do things outside of here as well. We're pretty busy, so, you know, once the world gets to see that, I think it's going to open up a whole gateway of new uh, experiences and new entertainment. We have the gang themselves here tonight. How y'all doing? What ladies doing? You have the yeah. old lady Woo. game yeah. in person. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, your color palettes, all of these beautiful outfits, they speak to the great vibes in the room right now. They speak to the energy on the property. Tell me what you're most excited to see from these people in the cast and on the show. I am so excited to see all of these people come just to see the old lady gang. I am so excited. And the majority of the people here, we know them, we love them, and they love us. And I'm just excited to see the young people. They're so excited to be about being on TV. It just warms my heart to see them yes. being so excited about the show. And we all so excited about the show. Now, this show and this red carpet, this entire event is just indicative to have some one seed can bring so many wonderful, beautiful things. Did you guys see when you opened this restaurant that you would take it this far? No. In a way. <laughs> well, we, didn't, we didn't think about having a show. We just wanted to have a good restaurant. Good food. Good food. <laughs> yes, yes. And we do have good food. We got good food. We also got good cooks. Yes. And it's all about um, having the right people on your team yes. to make things like that happen. That's right. it. Yeah. That's number one. And we got some good people on our team. My, they love us and we love them. My grandbaby, he is one of the chefs. And he been here ever since this place opened up. And I am here with none other than the stars of the evening, Candy, Todd. How are you guys doing today? Oh, doing we're doing good. great. Amazing. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yes, I can see the vibes. Everybody is in such a good mood. Everybody's so happy. So tell me about Candy and the gang and why you chose to specify that, uh, that One Direction. Well, um, basically, Candy and the Gang is just based off of our restaurant and the people that work here. It was really Todd's idea, so I think he should probably answer the question. Uh... <laughs> You know, it, it was just like, hey, we, we have this restaurant, we have a cast of characters, we have her family, they're another cast of characters, and it was like, <laughs> this should be on TV, right? Yeah. You know, and we put it together, and bravo, thank you, bravo. They continue to believe in us and, you know, help us put these amazing ideas out, and here we are. Now, with every reality show, even though it's fun, exciting, funny sometimes, they still have a lot of underlying really positive notes, right? What do you think that people are going to take away from this show? Oh, my gosh. There's so many things to take away from it because I feel like everybody on the show was so open and honest about things that they were dealing with. I mean, obviously, we have a lot of laughter. It's a lot of fun, a lot of good times. But then, you know, there's... The relationship dramas. I mean, we dealing with the struggles of owning a restaurant, um, so we shared that. Um, Brian, he shows you some of the struggles he's dealing with with substance abuse and all of these things. So it's like we deal with everything on this show, and and the show is very inclusive as well, you know. Um, and it's generational. You like to say because you got your old lady gang for the older crowd, like your mommy and grandma want to watch it. And then you know, you got we her, put a, you got her age group. <laughs> Then my First of all, he's older than me. I'm too close. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let this great food. This is the grown and sexy age group, right? Yeah. Then we have like the 20s and early 30s. So yeah, it's yeah. like a great mixture of people that I feel like the whole family can watch. I think also it also shows that family can work together. You know what I mean? We can work with our family and friends. It's a little tough, but you can make it happen because you can depend on your family. Even at times, you may hold them. A little to a higher standard, but yeah. definitely, definitely a good thing. Who is a character that surprised you this season? You already knew them in real life, but when you saw them on that camera, you may have seen some things that said, I didn't even realize this person had this type of side experience. I feel like all of them are walking TV anyway. <laughs> they are. I'm trying to figure out who would surprise me because they are all, like, every day without a camera are, like, good TV. But, um, I, you know what, I think it's Philip. The only reason why I say that is because he was thrown into this. 
he was our um, consultant to help us try to get our restaurants together. He had never planned or ever thought he would be a part of a TV show. So he came to this saying, I don't know. Work on Blaze. Yeah. Initially, he started at Blaze. And then we asked him to come out with Old Lady Gang. Yeah, because it was a mess over and then here. We was like, hey, but we need you to be on this show because you are our consultant. Yeah. And he was like. No, but here's the thing. He, he was like, okay, I'm nervous. First day, he was reading the hell out of people. <laughs> reading them up and down. But you know what? He reads That's people on a daily. That's who he is naturally. But I thought because he was so nervous, I thought maybe he would, you know, try to be a little bit quiet or tone it. No. Not happening. Not happening. Yes. So we've got the show coming on tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo. Yes. We cannot wait to see it. Any last notes that you want people to know from this show when they're watching? Um, yeah, just don't don't miss the episode because if you miss the episode, <laughs> you're going to miss a whole lot. Every episode is crazy. And when you come to Atlanta, come to OLG because you don't even have to see us. Now you got a whole restaurant full of celebrities and stars, right? Yes. You got a whole new generation of stars. They actually work here. They're really yeah, here. They really work here. Yes. <laughs>